Alfred Hitchcock was an English film director and producer. He pioneered many elements of suspense and psychological thriller genres. He had produced many outstanding films such as North by Northwest, Psycho, and Rear Window. In this documentary, we are going to explore about the techniques Hitchcock used in his creative process. Four people are sitting around a table, five minutes of it, very dull. Suddenly, a bomb goes off, blows the people to smithereens. What do the audience have? Ten seconds of shock. Now take the same scene and tell the audience there is a bomb under that table and will go off in five minutes. But the whole emotion of the audience is totally different because you've given them that information. Every scene Hitchcock shoots served to create certain impact on the audience, as he always puts his audience in mind. For example, in Rear Window, he demonstrates a similar idea with the bomb theory he talks about in the interview. The audience know the murderer is coming back, but the lady in the story doesn't, so tension is created among the audience. Uh, shock or surprise is that in order to get suspense, you provide the audience with a certain amount of information and leave the rest of it to their own imagination. In the movie Psycho, he shot a famous scene where the woman is killed. However, he doesn't show any violent scene. Instead, he applies montage technique to imply the audience leaves something ambiguous behind. The sprinkler, the panic eyes all give the audience a strong sense of intensity. I gave him these shots and where they should be taken. I built the set in such a way you couldn't take it from any other angle. I remember once in the picture Woman to Woman, we had a big uh, park lane house and it was the entrance hall and the reception. But at the top of the set, there was no set at all, no wall, nothing. What Hitchcock said in the interview is an example of constraining the condition in the creative process. Another example is Hitchcock deliberately wanted Psycho to look like a cheap exploitation film. He filmed in black and white. Long passages contained no dialogue. Quoted from Ebert's review. 